Compositions. So we're going to compose this thing, uh, but you don't have to. It's actually less work because they give us a number. They give us a number two. Right now, the x equals two. X equals two. It says right here. You see? It says x equals two. And so what do we plug two into first? Do we plug two into the f or the h first? What do we do? The f or the h? I say the f. It is the f. So we're going to go f of two. And then you plug it in. So you get three times two raised to the two. And what do you do first? Do you multiply the three into two or you do the power? Power. Oh, yeah. It's the power. So we get three times four, which equals 12. Okay, so that means uh, when we're looking at h of f of 2, we now have h of 12. And so now we're going to plug the 12 into the h. And so, yeah, it's really simple, isn't it? And so I have h of 12, which would equal uh, 2 times 12 with parentheses and such. 2 times 12 is 24. Subtract the 7, and then you're done. That's your answer. So you can say that h of f of 2 equals 17. Yay. Done. Simple, right? Yeah, you like that. Now, I'm going to show you guys another way to look at it, but don't get scared. All right? This is, this is 2 plugged into f, and f is plugged into h. So here we go. We're going to start from the outside and work our way in. H looks like this. It's 2, parentheses, minus 7. Okay? You guys see that? This is H, right? 2 times something, minus 7. What's in, what's in this something? Well, it says F is in this something. Okay, so what is F? It's 3 times 2 raised to the X power. So we go 3 times 2 raised to the X power. And what is plugged in? It's like 2 raised to something, right? That's the x. What is that something right now? 2. Now, so what I did is I wrote everything out before I started simplifying. The other way, I simplified as I went. So, let's go all the way to the inside. We go 2 raised to the 2 power. 4. 4 times 3? 12. 2 times 12? 24. Minus 7? So, it's the same thing. Just another way to look at it.